Hello all, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be making some smooth animations using Infinite Zoom. So let's dive straight in. Okay, so firstly, if you don't see the Infinite Zoom tab on the web UI, uh, you will need to go to the Extensions tab, um, Install from URL, and copy and paste the following GitHub repository link into here. Uh, you'll click Install, um, and I'll drop this into the comments um, for you if you haven't got it. Um, once you've installed it, you can apply and restart the UI um, and then you'll hopefully see the Infinite Zoom tab in your web UI. If you don't um, see that, then sometimes you need to close down your command window and relaunch the, um, back, the web UI back file. So, once we have it, um, and this one's it's, it's a little bit similar to Deforum, um, but I find this one um, is a lot simpler to use. So, this is what you'll see when you first come in. So, it gives you uh, an example here. We are going to clear the prompts because um, we're going to create our own one. So I'll quickly run through um, the options that are here. So our total video length, for the purpose of this one, I'm going to set this to 18. And I'll explain why um, shortly. Uh, batch count, we're just going to generate one animation for the purposes of this video. Here is our prompt, similar to the um, JSON format of Deforum, but this is literally set out in um, rows. So you can add new rows as you go and clear the prompts if you want to start again. We've got our common prompt prefixes, um, common prompt suffix and our negative prompts. So if there's something we're keeping in every row, um, then we can use that to save a bit of time when we're typing them in. The, what I'll do here is just quickly go down. We've got our sampler method, um, which again is similar to your text to image or image to image. I tend to use the DPM++ 2SA Keras for this one. Um, guidance scale, again, we can tweak that between seven to 12, uh, usually good. Um, and then the sampling steps for each outpaint, tend to set that around 50. Let's scroll up. So we'll import our prompts at this point to give us our story. Now you, you don't need to uh, import the prompts, you can literally type them in as you're going along. And this is effectively our outpainting steps. So what happens is at um, outpainting step zero, we're gonna create our initial image and that will run through, it'll outpaint at each point from step zero, steps one and steps two. Um, essentially, that's a, a small image that gets bigger and bigger as it gets outpainted. At step outpaint step three, we'll then change it slightly. Um, we're going to have some birds with trees uh, on the branches. Uh, we're going to have a forest with some deer, some apple trees with a lake. Um, the, I guess the main point of this is you want to be keeping your prompts quite consistent. So we don't want dramatic changes because you're not going to get a smooth um, effect by doing that. So let's go to uh, video, uh, frames per second, 30. We can leave that um, as B, um, where it starts and ends, um, and the zoom speed. So here I tend to set a zoom speed of 1.5. Um, so that will just slightly slow down um, the animation as it's running through. I find one a little bit too quick. And in our main, I'll just go back to, because this affects the length of the video. So we've got 1.5 as the zoom speed. We've got uh, 18 seconds as the video length. That will actually multiply by the 1.5 to give us a video length of 27 seconds. So if you're ever wondering why you put in a video length and it doesn't give you that video length, that would be the reason why. Um, in terms of our outpaint, the mass blur, I don't tend to touch this. It works with latent noise, so again, we can leave that, that as the default. And then post-process, depending on your, um, your virtual RAM, your graphics card, you can upscale to get, um, obviously, better quality at this point. So I'm going to create a 768 by 768 image. And we can generate our video and see what it comes out with. Okay, cool, so that's generated that. It took around uh, five, five and a half, six minutes, I think. So let's have a look. So you can see the zoom speed is um, what I wanted in terms of not too quick, not not too slow. Um, the the blending, it's, it's a smooth video. So I'm liking that. It's pulling in ideas at this point, which is cool. It's uh, using the style of John Constable, I believe he's a, a famous English painter. And that's our light coming in. Okay, cool. 
Other than that, um, right, that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. Um, and good luck having a play with it. Cheers, guys.